What up, guys? It's Chris. And today I just wanted to explain how I get Artnet to and from a Resolu machine uh, into my MA on PC machine. So um, let's start by taking a quick look at our patch here. Um, I've started by patching 100 basic RGB cells, um, starting at Universe 1, Address 1, all the way down to 100. And I also have uh, one layer of Resolume patched. I have the composition patched at uh, 2.1 and the layer patched at, uh, sorry, one layer patched at 2.28, which we'll get into that in a minute. Um, the last thing I want to do in the settings is just go through our, uh, well, we'll take a quick look here. We are connected to a uh, node. Our on PC session is connected to a node, so we are able to output ArtNet. Um, that's one of the key features with using MA on PCs. You have to have some sort of MA parameters available to actually output ArtNet, whether it be, uh, sorry, DMX, whether it be, you know, copper or or ArtNet, you have to have some parameters attached. So let's take a look at our network protocols. In our ArtNet tab here, I've just set up uh, one simple um, input and one simple output. And if we take a look at our output, you can see I've started it on universe 2. I'm outputting uh, 1. And the universe over here, from how I understand this, is the same as this. And I could be wrong, but that's how I understand it, and it's always worked for me. So because 0 is 1 in, in ArtNet world, uh, we change this number to 1 to reflect that it's starting at universe 2 which is our output from MA, and that will be our ArtNet input to Resolume, and it will say, bring up the layer intensity to 100%, pick this clip, pick that clip, you know, all sorts of stuff. Our uh, ArtNet input, that will be the, um, the color and the video information from Resolume coming in and affecting our LEDs and again that's on universe one here we're only outputting one and this number is zero because it's really one um, I've only you can see that none of these are conflicting um, I've only have one universe being in, input so I don't have a, a couple you know that would override this um, these have to stay separate. You can even put a couple universes between them. Say, you know, this starts at universe one. You can jump this all the way up to four or five just to have a little bit of um, room in between to make sure that there's no conflicting addresses because sometimes you can get weird stuff. It'll make your colors look all funny. Um, but yeah, so these are the settings in MA, and this kind of should be the basics of everything. Oh, the, the last thing I'll mention is... Uh, I have arranged our 100 LEDs in a 10 by 10 grid, um, and that's important to note too because we'll be looking at that in uh, Resolume. All right, so here we are in Resolume, and um, I've just created a, a new show file with just a couple clips, um, just a couple basic colors, and just a couple of, of movies, or not movies, but just clips. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at our advanced output first. Um, so you can see here that I've created a Lumaverse, and this is Resolume's way of outputting DMX. You can see DMX output here. So if we look at our Lumaverse, we can see that we have uh, 10 LEDs by 10 LEDs. You know, these are the addresses if I go all the way through. Um, just to, just to kind of go over this in a little bit of detail, if you come down here to this gear icon and we click it, you can see that these are the, the fixtures you have to choose from. Now, this is the simplest version. So I just created a RGB, you know, one kind of unit here. Um, but you could go ahead and create another fixture. And, you know, it might be a multi-cell head, something like this. Um, you know, say a stage bar or a color force or something like that. Uh, it might have different parameters. It might have RGBW. You know, you can kind of go as wild as you need to with this, which is, is awesome. Uh, so let's get rid of that, and we will get out of this. So you can see here I've just arranged um, 
10 by 10 just like our setup in MA and that's kind of all you need to, to know here. Um, we don't have to set the universe here or anything like that. We just have to make sure that these are addressed correctly and these are orientated correctly. Um, you can also, oh, this is our DMX output here. You can see how much of the universe it takes up. Um, but if we zoom out here a little bit, you can see that I'm only referencing the kind of the middle-ish part of the composition here. Um, Let's see, this this might be a little closer to center instead of just randomly thrown in. But I can stretch it out to reference the whole thing, but for now we're just going to keep it kind of cubish relatively in the center. Um, if we go up to our preferences, we can see I've just created one output for the Lumiverse, which is the only Lumiverse that we created uh, device. It's the only way we can chat to DMX. Subnet is zero um, because we're not going over a certain number of universes. That would be like if we got into, I think the hex system is like 16 or 15 or something like that. So if you were outputting, say, into the 20s, universe 20s or something like that, that's when subnet would come into play. Um, but for now, because we're sticking with universe one, we're going to do universe zero because zero is one in Artnet. Um, the Artnet input for Lumiverse 1, this is a little misleading because we're, we're not actually talking to Lumiverse 1. We, we don't, we don't want to input anything into Lumiverse 1. We want to input it to Resolume itself. So this is correct. It's, it's just a little misleading here. So again, we have our device as Artnet. Subnet is 0. Our universe is 1 because it's 2. Now the channel offset is 0 because we are starting our DMX composition at 1, our layer 1 at 28. Um, but if you were to change that, all you'd have to do is just offset it a few. Um, I believe, for example, uh, no, it doesn't show it real time. Anyways, that's how you do that. So these are our settings here. Um, I'm just going to check refresh device a couple times and bring this down. We're going to start fresh. I'm just going to uh, bring our layer up here on MA to test if this is working. And you can see it there. I'm just kind of wheeling it up and down on the dimmer wheel on MA. Uh, so, yep, yeah, we have the full control. Uh, so now let's take a quick look back in MA. All right. And uh, now we're back in MA on our layout view. Let's go ahead and bring this guy full screen so we can take a quick look. And uh, we left it in red in Resolume, and it's now red. Um, so let's just click around and see what other videos I have. I believe I have a blue slide. Yep, that looks blue to me. I have this uh, cyan and magenta thing. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And then I have this video from um, Goofy Movie. Which is pixelated, but we kind of get the gist. So, um, so yeah, that's how you would get... Artnet to and from Resolume into a, a MA on PC or a lighting console or any other uh, console that outputs or inputs DMX. Just in case I wasn't clear on any of that, I just wanted to leave this diagram up of how um, everything is plugged in, what the IP addresses of everything are, and how I'm getting signal kind of everywhere on more of like a system block diagram um, version.